Hi. So this week I'm doing the research project. Um, our project, um, as our topic, is going to continue to be um, volcanoes this week. Um, more specifically, we are going to be researching um, Mount Vesuvius, which is a volcano in Italy. So um, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint um, with some facts and interesting things about Mount Vesuvius. Um, and then we're going to talk about the city of Pompeii, which was um, completely destroyed by an eruption um, of Mount Vesuvius. Okay, so Mount Vesuvius is a huge mountain in um, volcano, mountain volcano, should I say, sorry, in southwest of Italy. Um, it is nine kilometers away from Naples. Um, it is a Soma stratovolcano. This is something I learned today, actually. This means that it is a volcano which is built up of many layers of hardened lava, pumice stone and ash. So over the years, the many times that it has, um, it, it has exploded and erupted has um, left it getting bigger and bigger with lots and lots of different layers. Um, it also has a steep profile and a crater at the summit as well, which makes it a Soma volcano. It is the only volcano in mainland Europe, on mainland Europe, to have erupted in the last hundred years. It last erupted in 1944. It has erupted several times um, since 79 AD, but none of them have been as large or destructive as the eruption in 79 AD, which destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii, amongst other settlements as well. This is um, some interesting facts about Pompeii. It's also going to talk you through and show you what Pompeii looks like now. Um, it was buried under several, several meters of ash and stone in 79 AD. And it was discovered again um, several times throughout the years. Um, but more importantly, at the beginning of the 19th century um, um, and into the 20th as well. There was lots and lots of excavations going on and digging down to find out what what was down there so let's have a look and see what they have managed to find out about life in Pompeii so this is the colonnade the colonnade forms part of the forum the forum was the public square which would have been used for meetings criminal trials public speeches and markets as well it would have been the hustle and bustle the central point of Pompeii where lots and lots of people would go this was just a normal cobble street. Bear in mind that this was all under 10 feet of ash, uh, eight, six to eight feet of, sorry, six to eight meters um, of ash and stone. So the street, um, many streets remain in Pompeii. Here you can see the cobbled street with pavements on each side. In the distance, Mount Vesuvius is the volcano which destroyed Pompeii. Here is the Odeon Theatre. It's a small theatre. Uh, many of you may have heard of the Odeon. Um, the Odeon is a cinema chain. Um, so here is what is no, what would have been their theatre. In ancient Pompeii, there were many types of entertainment. They did like their entertainment, in, um, did the Romans. Um, one popular pastime was theatre where people went to watch plays. This theatre had space for 1,000 spectators. That's a lot of people rammed into that small space, right? Here is the Temple of Apollo. And again, I want you all to just to take a minute just to remember that all of this was buried under ash and stone. It all had to be dug away. Um, the Romans worshipped many gods. This temple is dedicated to Apollo, the god of music, and was built on a high platform to make sure it looked more impressive. So that would have looked really, really cool during the days of the Romans before it was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius, which you can see in the background. The House of Veti. Um, this is where um, this, this house, um, the House of Veti, was one of the most impressive and richly decorated houses in Pompeii. So it would have belonged to somebody who had lots of money. Um, if, if we go back a slide, you can see there, that's, that was probably their own bathing pool. Um, it was named after the owners Aulus Vettius Convia and Aulus Vettius Restutius Rest, Rest in the house of Vetti. 
Here's a mosaic. Um, this was discovered, again, remember, under six to um, eight meters of ash and stone. Um, preserved perfectly. Look how beautiful it is. Um, lovely colours. The Romans like to have things with lots of different colours. If you go to the Roman Verulanium Museum in St Albans, you will see very um, see some mosaics just like this. The Romans used mosaics to decorate wealthy houses and, pu and public buildings. Each mosaic used thousands of small pieces of tile or stone to create the pattern or picture. So that would have taken somebody a really, really long time. They also liked painting. So this is a painting in Casa del... Menderado. Um, so another popular way of decorating rooms was with a wall painting and they called these frescoes. This one is in Casa del Menderendo um, shows, and it's showing the hunting party and you can see the dog and the man with the bow and arrow. This is a painting of Narcissus. Um, myths and legends were a common source of inspiration for Roman artists. This painting depicts Narcissus, who was um, so beautiful that he fell in love with his own reflection and he painted himself. Pots and statues are kept in store cupboards. Um, these were all found in the, under, the, under the rock and uh, under the stone um, when archaeologists dug it out. So archaeologists at Pompeii have found so many artefacts, it is not possible to have them all on display at once. The finds are then that are not on display are kept in stores just like this and they're kept as safe as can be. Vases and human plaster cast store. So when Mount Vesuvius erupted, people who were left in Pompeii were buried by volcanic ash. When the bodies decayed, a gap was left in the ash, which archaeologists filled with plaster to create copies of the people who lived in Pompeii. Don't worry, they are not real people in those plaster casts. They are just plaster. So there is a bakery here. Uh, bread was important to every, um, it was an important part of every Roman's diet. Um, at this bakery, you could still see remains of the millstones, which would have been used to grind the flour, grind the, main, the grain, sorry, to make the flour. Uh, this was an ancient snack bar. Uh, fast food was not, is not a new idea. Romans had fast food over 2,000 years ago. Here, citizens could buy quick bites to eat, including breads, cheese, fish, meat, and fruit. They ate very well, did the Romans. Um, so here we have a thermopulium, and it served hot food. In the, an ancient Roman, if an ancient Roman wanted something hot to eat, they might go to the thermo, thermopulium, which means a place where something hot is sold. The large jars built into the cor into the counters probably store dried foods such as nuts and spice. So that's all the information we have today on Pompeii. Back. Now to talk about your task for this week. Research Mount Vesuvius and the final days of Pompeii using either books or the internet. There are lots and lots of pages on Google for children. Um, you can also look at Twinkle as well. There's lots of information on Twinkle. Using your research to create a timeline of the 79 AD eruption which destroyed Pompeii. You can include in your timeline when Pompeii was rediscovered, um, put together a sequence of events which led to the eruption. When you have completed your timeline, send it to your teacher. Have fun with this because it is great fun. It's a really, it's a really interesting topic. So I look forward to seeing um, many of these timelines.